Hey, what's up guys, and welcome to the weekly vlog. In this week's vlog, we're gonna be talking about, well, me losing my mojo a bit. Looking for a racing maze, I need your help. And also, we're gonna be talking about these, the A6 Magic Speed. So welcome back to the channel how are you doing let me know in the comments i'm just out on the beautiful river lee uh just doing six or seven miles today see how we feel um but it's a lovely day although still a bit breezy so apologies if there's any wind noise on the camera which is what seems to me i'll check this out look have a look wait there wait there wait there look. pretty cool now Roxbourne running, uh, rowing club. Now out here, rowing or shine smash here. Yeah. I'd love to have a go at that actually. Let me know in the comments that you do rowing as cross training. Right, so like I said in the opening, we're going to be talking about my mojo. Uh, I need your help with a race. And then we're going to get on to the A6 Magic Speed. So thanks everyone who liked and commented on the Essex Half and Marathon video, I really do appreciate it. And again, massive shout out to Toby, Wendy and all the other guys who smashed PVs. Uh, that event has a really good, well organized, safe event. But like I said, at the start this week, I've been really, really struggling with my mojo, motivation to get out of the door. And I think I realized this because Basically, my next event is not until June the 13th, um, which is a half marathon in Essex. So I'm kind of lacking a bit of focus, although I'm in this plan, and that's fine. I mentioned it the other week, and so I'm out today doing my six, seven miler. Uh, this is a, a medium effort run. I'm going to be turning around and then sort of gunning it back, uh, which is a cool reason to wear the magic speeds today, just to see what they're sort of like at that easy pace and then I'll go through the paces on the way back but anyway so yeah I've just been kind of struggling this week really motivation to run I think a lot of it also is I'm super busy with our own race events club clubs come back really strong if you're not joined 40 rounds running club make sure you do if you're here in the UK uh, if you're not in the UK you can still join 40 rounds running community on Facebook go over there and join that as well good plug 40 um, but yeah, I don't know. I just seem to be struggling a bit this week. So I want your help for May. Um, I want a race. So pick me a race somewhere, ideally, because I'm conscious of the COVID and all that. I don't want to travel too far. Right, so southeast, please, uh, in the UK. Let me know in the comments which ones you're doing and maybe I'll try and get along to one of those because I really need some focus. Maybe or even just on a 10K. As I say, this week, it's been a bit of a drag, slight niggle on my leg and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, I need to refocus my mind. So, oh, fly in my mouth. So down to you, pick a race, let me know in the comments, and we'll try and sort it out. Okay, that's me halfway. Right, what's the scores on the doors? So I've got to beat 26.57 back. We're gonna do that in the magic speed. So I'm gonna get this done. I'll see you guys back at HQ and we're going to talk all about the A6 Magic Speed. All right, let's go. I was definitely not feeling that on the way back. <sighs> Give everyone those really rubbish runs. You know, the ones where they just feel a lot harder than they need to be. Well, that was one of them. Anyway, we're back. I'm gonna go in, get stripped off, shower, change, lunch, and then we'll talk about the magic speed.
shot and changed. One dog sleep. Oh, have a look. She's gonna go loopy. Uh, 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 Myla, two. Uh, Flame, gotta go the other way. Peg, 38. I'm gonna have to hide them before she gets home. Don't even start me about what's in natural. She'll go loopy. Right, anyway. So what do you have after you've done a run? Let me know in the comments. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, sometimes I go for one thing, sometimes I go for the other. So like a bit of scrambled eggs. Um, you know what? I'm gonna have some pasta. So here we are with the Magic Speed from Asics, this carbon plated racing training shoe, I would say. Um, it's new out, it came out with the, what is it called, the Meta Speed Sky? I can't remember how to pronounce it, but anyway, let me know in the comments if I got that wrong. But they launched both the shoes um, a couple of weeks ago now, but they've been really tough to get hold of because basically Asics have had problems getting stuff to the UK. I think a lot of it's to do with Brexit, which is one of the reasons why we've not had a review of that Meta Speed Sky, whatever it's called, but that review will be coming out soon. But anyway, so we're talking about the magic speed today. Let's do the stats and features first, then we'll go on to what it feels like and all that sort of stuff. So the magic speed, firstly, let me know in the comments, do you think he looks awesome? I'd be very interested to know. I really do like the colorway of the shoe. I really dig this. I think it's flame red. Let me know in the comments. I think he looks awesome. But anyway, shoe is 145 pounds here in the UK. You can get it online. Um, I've got a UK nine and a half. It fits true to size. And actually, there's plenty of width in there. So if you've got a slightly wider foot, you're gonna be digging this. Uh, we've got the guide sole technology in the shoe, uh, which comes over from the glide ride. I've got the glide ride in the video, people. Uh, we've got, what else? So we've got the Flight Foam Blast midsole. It's not the Flight Foam Blast Turbo, I think it's called, which is in the Meta Sky. Uh, we've got the AHA rubber outsole. So we've got a decent rubber outsole on this shoe. We've got an engineered mesh upper. Um, we've got the carbon plate in it, but it's about three quarters of the way uh, only. It's not a full length carbon plate. What else, what else, what else? That is probably about it in terms of features and stuff. Um, so yeah, the carbon plate basically is from like here upwards. It's like a kidney shape, um, but it's not a full length carbon plate. So you still have rigidity at the toe off, but it's not all the way through. So you've got the guide sole technology as well, which is all about heel to toe transition and improving efficiency. Um, we've got this engineered mesh upper, which looks like it's like, almost two layers, it, can't, it won't come out on camera, but it's like almost two layers, super breathable, no problems on that. Um, around the kill counter, you've got a thin layer of foam, I would say, again, it's not really gonna come out, but there is a thin layer, it feels very much like um, on the Puma Nitro Deviate, but the Puma Nitro Deviate's got more around the ankles and it's like got nothing on the heel itself, where this has actually got a full piece going around heel like that so there's enough in there enough comfort but also enough there to lock you down so you don't get any heel slippage um the tongue is basically the same material pretty much as the upper with um some sort of stitching and some i think like overlays around the edge of it just to add the structure but that's about it it's almost not there um it's not gusseted at all as you hopefully can see um lacing are good i actually like the laces um definitely better than the 361 flame um you can lock them down it's a bit like the Evo Ride 2 and the Evo Ride when you put it on, it's super narrow here in terms of the lacing. Um, you'll put them on, you'll get your foot to about there and then you have to really ease them off. So just remember when you do get the shoe out of the box to release them off. Um, but yeah, I've not had to put a runners, not on them because I've got a reasonable lockdown in the shoe, comfortable enough for me. Uh, I mentioned it um, just a second ago, so we've got Flight Foam Blast. So that's what's in the Nova Blast shoe, the very, very popular Nova Blast, which I struggled with because it was too soft um, and I just was collapsing and pronating in the shoe. It's a slightly firmer feeling Flight Foam Blast for me in this shoe. Um, we've got a five mil drop. The stack height, oh, nearly dropped here. Let me just check the stack height. So the stack height is 34 and 29 millimeters. So there's your five mil. But yeah, stack height is 34 to 29. Uh, weight, let's do the weight. I've got Mrs. Fawley's scales here. Sorry if the camera's vibrating because I just I keep knocking the table. And this is, I said, uh, UK nine and a half people, uh, fitting true to size for me. Uh, let me reset them. There we go. Right, okay, so 9.05 ounces. 
Uh, you don't need it. No. Grams, 257 grams for my UK nine and a half. So it's not the lightest carbon plated racing training shoe out there, but it's not the heaviest. I think a lot of the weight comes from this very, very good um, high abrasion rubber outsole that they put on the shoe. I really did notice, just even along the canal pass, because the other runs I've done this year have been on the roads only, but today, as you saw from the b rubbers on the canal tow pass, I really did notice the traction um, of the shoe. It was really gripping well, particularly on the sort of gravelly part of the um, path. Uh, so on the, on, the, on, the, on the roads, it was just as good as any other outsole. Um, but today, along the canal tow pass, I really did notice it. I think this is where some of the weight comes though, because it's almost like full length. Um, they probably could have cut it off there, or even made it a little bit thinner, but fair play to ASICs. I think they've given you some durability here because they know that this is aimed at sort of a little bit more towards training as well as racing. Okay, so the next point really I want to make about this shoe is I'm a little bit confused, and you ASICs gurus out there will know about this more than me. I'm a little bit confused about the ASICs sort of naming of their shoes at the moment. So we've got the Meta Speed Sky, whatever it is. Actually, I'm going to get this right because um, I keep getting this wrong. Yeah, so we've got the Meta Speed Sky, uh, which is like the Monster Marathon fast shoe, high stack carbon plated full length that's come out with this. Then we've got the Meta Racer. Right, which is a carbon plated, you've got a bottom loaded carbon plated shoe. Um, if you've not seen that, videos I've done on that, check that out. Then we've got the Magic Speed. Now I don't know why they didn't call it the Meta Speed or something different. Do you see what I mean? I don't understand why. I know Magic apparently has been used in other shoes by ASICs. Um, but yeah, I'm just a little bit where the whole line fits up. I'd much rather like Sockin' he did with Endorphin Shift, Endorphin you know, Speed, Endorphin Pro, that kind of thing. Because I think this shoe is fitting into the range in terms of you've got like the Meta Speed Sky up here. Uh, and then this is like sort of a more affordable version, if that makes any sense, at 145 pounds. Uh, a bit like Adios Pro and Adi Zero Pro. See where I'm going? So you've got like the high stack marathon version and you've got like the Adios Pro, um, Adi Zero Pro, which is like a lower stack, but it's still got the carbon plate. I think that's maybe where they're trying to go, but I don't know, the, the naming just seems a little bit confusing to me. Let me know in the comments if you agree or not. Okay, so let's get into actually how it feels. Now, I might sound a little bit, because it's kind of left me frustrated. Now, firstly, I'm a huge ASICS fan. If you're new to the channel, I absolutely love ASICS shoes. They just work for me, right? Glide Ride, Evo Ride, um, uh, Nimbus, uh, Light 2, uh, all that sort of stuff. Big ASICS fan, but here he is. This shoe just did nothing for me. It really didn't. Now I appreciate the versatility. I appreciate the price point, 145 pounds for a carbon plated shoe um, that you can use for sort of training and racing. I appreciate that. They've done a very good job. I, I always like uh, manufacturers, brands who try and find a cheaper shoe that sort of us everyday runners can try and afford because none, not everybody can go out and spend 200, 250 pounds on a carbon plated racing shoe. So I've got to give massive love to ASICs for doing that. But it just felt like an Evo ride. It, it, it just, yeah, it, it just wasn't doing anything for me. Um, even on the sort of shorter, quicker runs that I've done in it, it, it just wasn't, I don't know, it wasn't setting my pulse racing. Do you, do you, let me know in the comments if you know what I mean. Like, for example, the Rebel 2 from, from uh, New Balance, which doesn't have a plate, is a lot more fun and a lot more sort of giddy up than this. And that hasn't got a plate in it. It just, it just feels a bit of a quicker shoe. This, it just feels like an Evo ride. Does that make any sense? Let me know if you, if you know what I'm talking about. I wasn't really feeling the toe off. I wasn't really feeling the sort of heel to toe transition uh, like you do in some of the sort of like the speed roll um, from Saucony. I don't know, it just, it, it, wasn't, it wasn't really doing anything for me. Um, and I feel a bit upset about it because I'm a big, 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 big ASICs fan. The other thing I found on my right shoe because of pronation, whatever, I really felt like my, sh my foot was sort of a bit like that. I felt like I was running a bit like that. And I don't know whether that's the flight phone, but I didn't feel like I was collapsing. But I just feel like my foot was a bit like, I don't know, just, yeah, like that instead of, more like that, like I do on even the 361 Flame, for example. So I'm a bit, I'm a bit disappointed, guys, to be honest with you. Um, 
the the whole sort of tongue lacing area was a little bit restrictive, I would say. Um, I had a twin skin sock on today because the, the other runs I was doing, it, I was in a thinner sock because it was getting warmer now, and I could really feel this across the top of my foot. So I went for a twin skin sock today and it was a bit better, but then I felt even more restricted uh, with the amount of lacing that they've got on it. So that was a little bit annoying. But yeah, the, the only positives I can take from the shoe at the moment are the outsole, awesome. Really impressed with it down the uh, canal tie path today. Roads, you know, is what it is. Um, the price point, 145 pounds, I think it's great for a uh, racing and training shoe. I think that's really good what they've done there, the fact that they've given us a carbon plated shoe that we can race and train in. But, I don't know, the Meta Racer, I don't know, that, that just seems a little bit more, seems a bit quicker than this. Even though this has got a little bit more stack and it's got, you know, we've got Flight Phone Blast and we've got the, the, the sort of three quarter length carbon plate in it, I don't know. Um, yeah. Ah, uh, it's, it's so frustrating when you get a shoe. I think maybe because I was so hyped about the shoe, because I thought to myself, well, we've got the 200 and whatever it is pound Meta Sky coming out, which is just a lot of money, and I'm lucky enough that I get sent that. Um, and, you know, we've got the, the 145 pound shoe, which is coming in, which is probably going to be more in line with what people can afford because of what's going on in the world and whatnot, and maybe offers you know, a lot more versatility. So, you, you know, some people, believe it or not, are still fearful. They, they don't think they're fast enough for these sort of carbon plate shoes, which is absolute nonsense, by the way. Um, because if you've got the money and you can afford to go out and get, you know, one of these sort of super hyper shoes, then just go and get it. It doesn't matter whether you run a six, seven hour marathon. It's, it's going to make you feel awesome. Just do it. But yeah, when, when, when this shoe was like sort of launched and it was like 145 pounds, I thought, yes, Asics, good job bringing, you know, sort of carbon plated racing shoes to the masses, to the everyday runner. But yeah, I just gotta be honest with you. It, it's just it's just a bit dead, it's just a bit dull. I much prefer the 361 Flame, which is 150 pounds. And, and it's nothing compared to the Socket Endorphin Speed, and that's a TPU plate. So, I mean, it's gonna to appeal to you guys maybe who like a more sort of racing flat style shoe, maybe, you know, along your lines of your Addy Zero Pro, which I quite openly said, I don't think I'm fast enough to run in that shoe. Maybe I need to be faster to run in this shoe. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe I'm not fast enough. Um, you know, I was kicking along on the way back just in today's run. Um, just to give you an idea. Let me, let me load it up. Hold tight. So between 4.20 and 4.30 per kilometre. Um, so, you know, that's for me is a, is a threshold pace. But it just, I don't know. The Puma DV8 Nitro. Much more exciting. It's something from that sort of um, nitro, the Puma Nitro uh, midsole that's just a little bit more, it's just got something more to it. It just felt a bit boring, a bit dead, and a bit like an Evo. And I love the Evo ride, but the Evo ride is, is more, is, is, is a training shoe. Um, more of a, you know, everyday daily training shoe than this. So, yeah. Bit perplexed with this, people. I had such high hopes for it. I think it looks awesome. There's no denying. Oh, hold tight. Sorry, yeah, that was my Strava lineup. So I was even touching like 418 at one point, which again, it's threshold pace for me. But anyway, so yeah, to conclude, finish the vlog, this week's vlog. Massive disappointment with the um, Magic Speed. I think you're better off with the Puma Nitro, 361 Flame, and obviously the Endorphin Speed. Um, or even go and buy the Meta Sky if it ever comes available again here in the UK. It's a bit of a disappointment, people. I think it looks awesome. There's no denying how good it looks, right? But, I don't know, it's just, it's just not doing it for me. Let me know in the comments, what do you think? If you've got a pair, be very interested to know your views, because obviously these are only my opinions, and that doesn't mean anything nowadays, right? Doesn't make a difference. But anyway, that's my opinion on the Magic Speed. Okay, guys, right, so that's this week's vlog. Uh, a bit of a mix-up this week uh, in terms of what we're doing. It's sort of a shoe review-ish kind of thing. Um, but I'm just so busy, and thank you to everybody for making me busy um, with the clubs and, and everything else that we're doing with 40 Runs. So I really, really appreciate The love you guys are sending 40 Runs way. Really do appreciate it. Um, keep doing what you're doing. Keep following, keep sharing the channel. Keep commenting, keep liking the videos and all that sort of stuff. If you're not following me on Instagram, get over there. If you're not following me on Strava, get over to Strava um, and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, I just want to say a massive thank you. Um, let's keep growing the channel. Let's stay on this journey together because... 
trying to bring the everyday runner um, message to everybody. And it doesn't matter how fast you run or slow you run, it's all about how much fun you have doing it. Okay, people, that's enough from me. I've got to go, so I'll catch you guys next week.